What is up, everybody? Clappercraft360 here. Back again with another episode of fucking In Silence. My audio was fucked there for a second, so the people I'm playing with probably have no idea what the fuck I just did. Nope. Nope. <laughs> mm, yeah. But, so, <laughs> as you guys can hear, I'm joined today with Elemental Leopard, Wolf Crazy1234, and Blaine. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this is this fucking game again. <laughs> uh, Half gonna, an hour match this time. Yeah, we're gonna try to, like, do uh, just a really long match with Leo as the rake because he enjoys being it. Plus, I'm not too bad yeah. at it. Yeah, this is gonna be a fucking mess. We're all gonna die in the first five minutes. Absolutely. Bet you we will. We'll die. Well, we have uh, some settings to make things easier for the survivors, along with a couple settings to make things a little bit harder for the rake. Okay, I'll get an extra shot if I find the right... I have legs! I'm good. Okay, so the barn should be right... I'm gonna actually just hit up this house first. This house usually has something in the garage. I don't want a bear trap. I definitely am feeling a little bit cockier than normal, though. Okay, that's good to know about. A little flashlight there. Okay. Oh, that was a fucking radio. I thought that was a fucking... That's a teddy bear. Fuck that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get upstairs and see what's up there. What the fuck is that? Is that him? I think M turned on the TV. Those birds were probably him. Who is the bitch to turn on the TV? Like this. No, like this. What the fuck is that? So, 
I'm so fucking dead. Whoever is here is going to get me killed. Hoping to find the fucking key. Whoever the fuck is in here is going to get me killed, though. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck, I gotta get to the barn now. Okay. Okay, motherfucker. You want to play like that? I'll play like that. Mocker. You meant to say polar. Okay. I hope whoever the fuck was in the and they followed me out. This motherfucker is gonna get me killed. Who the fuck are you? Fuck this shit. Oi, cunt. M. Okay, I really hope M drew him the fuck away. Because, like, what the fuck? I'm over here trying to live my life. Then M just fucking comes out here and just tries to fucking get me killed. There is no way in hell you're gonna survive this round. Holy shit! That actually scared the fuck out of me. Oi, cunt. I really hope he just overshot that. I always fucking panic and press the wrong button to sprint. Because my normal sprint key is Q. So I always panic and try to press Q to sprint, but it's shift to this game, and it can't be rebound. He's over by the car right now. No, it's not. Uh, 
Did that seriously just... Are you kidding me? Oh, that scared the fuck out of me so bad. No fucking way. No fucking way. Let me get upstairs. That's where the wheels normally are. Shit, last round it was Blaine as the rake. And he's terrible at it. So I have to kind of get in this mindset of the rake is actually good. Not to mention the fact that it was really cocky over the fact that, like, all the different things we did to nerf the rake. That's twice now he was just on me. And he never even grabbed me. One time he sprinted right past me. Oh my god. Is that a battery? I keep running into the bomb. Why? That is the battery. No, it's the fuel. I think he knows. Problem is, he is like on this place. Oh, this game is very stressful. And there's a lot of jump scaring. More than anything else. Keep an eye on this fucking staircase here. He is like on this place. Like bad. There's a wheel, okay. Because I don't want to leave here with just the fuel. Fuel and wheel though is good. I think that yeah, that's the way I came in. I think that's the way I'd go for the car. Yeah, that's the way for the car. Fuck that. The survivors get a little bit of a bonus to their speed as well. You know, boost it up. So after you flashbang the rake, the rake, you get uh, six seconds of like sprint. But we boosted it up to nine, and that nine second or that three seconds more helps so much. The thing with Leo is though, is he has a habit of knowing like or to running after you after you flashbang him. Which is why I did that serpentine shit. Try to not go where I'd be expected to go. 
So that keeps me alive. That was the building with the special garage that I recognize. So the car should be this way. I believe, yeah, because I remember seeing the tractor shortly after spawn before. If I make this like a Dead by Daylight where the things are like randomized though, this game will get like 500 times harder. Because there's this one character called the Guide that actually has a map telling you where everything is. And there's only one of them. But if you're like me and memorize the map, you don't need that. At least I thought I memorized the map. That's Leo. God, he has been on me all game. Scare the fuck out of me. Where's the car? The car should have been in this corner. But I can't fucking find it. Should be right over here. I have fuel and a wheel. Okay, well, we can get the other wheel pretty easily, but where's the car? I'm gonna kind of like stay away from M a little bit here, let M be the bait. Okay, I think those are the headlights. Yeah, those are. Okay. Come on, we're only missing one wheel. We can do this shit. What? No, nah, barn's empty. I cleared it. Is there anything in here? Wheels? Oh, I remember this place. Leo pinned me here before. I gotta get a battery. I only got two more flashes left because I changed the settings too so that uh, the survivors get to have three flashes instead of just two. This might end up being a pretty short video because I plan on ending it right after. Oh, excuse me. But I plan on uh, ending it right after this video, or right after this round ends. Well, I got a plenty of war stories to tell from the times that Leo must kill me. I thought I just heard something.
That's a jack in the box. Fuck that. One in here on the table I thought I saw. Yeah, there's one right there on the table. Doesn't exactly look like the kind of place where I find a wheel. shit all over this fucking house. This house is fucking dangerous. There's fucking teddy bears and jack of the boxes everywhere here. I'm scared. I'm so fucking dead. There's no feeling in the world better than doing that shit. Oh my god. Car repaired. I just gotta get the fuck over there. I can do this. It's right over there. Come on, I can survive this. I'm not dying today. Fuck you! Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, I think the only person not here is Blaine, though, and he has no idea where the car is. Is Leo going to camp the car? Okay. Hello? Does this work? Still in car? Yeah. You know... Okay, so he can't kill can us, he, right? Can he get in this? I can hope he get not. In this? I don't know. I hope Hi, not. Leo. I... Oh, by the way, I was the one who did the fireworks and the TV and stuff. I, you know that balcony you jumped off in the building that was close to here? I was literally like two feet away from you.
I was like hiding around the corner on that balcony. Oh, well, so I was I was hiding on the path, and you legit run straight past me, not even any distance between us, about five times. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god. I will survive. What is How nightmare did you mode? Not see me, Leo? <laughs> I think he was too he's busy too, paying attention to me and Blaine. On us. Yeah, we were distracting him. Holy shit. Oh, that was fucking That was horrible. That was what, what is... you guys a solid twenty something <laughs> minutes to get that car fixed. You were on no, me the you entire know, game. You know, I literally could not you know what, find the car. <laughs> hey, you know what I was mad about though? I had the best set of stuff, so I had like the most amount of battery power on my freaking flashlight, and I had the fastest getaway speed, and I was the guide. So I was going around fighting stuff, and by the time I got back to the car, like, all the battery and the fuel and stuff was already there, and I had all that stuff in my inventory, I was like, well, fuck. Yeah, I had the fuel in one <laughs> wheel, and I came back, and all the rest of the stuff was repaired, and I was like, okay, I don't have to do anything this game. I repaired a wheel, the car key, and the car battery. I was fucking, I was pinned in the barn so much, because Leo kept going into the barn when I was in there. <laughs> Us go around to ask me so many fucking there are like three clips that I'm going to send you, Leo. Three different clips of this video. Of times where you... Do you remember the time where you sprinted right past me, right? Mm. He sprint... He sprint right past me too on, like, the path area. He went to try to kill legit, me with the sprint and just went insane. right in front of me and I completely panicked. I did too. Yeah, do you remember uh, that time where you heard something by the barn and then you ended up running over there and jumping over the fence? You ran or uh, was there times. noise at the barn? I run away from the barn and then something would ping at the barn. So I go, right, that I'll was back. me because I was in the barn almost the entire game. And Em, you <laughs> almost got me fucking killed in that house at the beginning. Uh, I was so I was... scared to go back to the car because I, I, know, had, like, I had literally no flashbang left. I had two charges left when the car was repaired, so I just sprinted right for the car. I knew I'd be fair. I knew I'd be I, fine. I only used one because he got me on the way to the car. I was like, fuck it. He got me earlier, and, and I flashbanged him and ran off, and then he got me uh, right next to the car, too. I was so worried that he was able to get inside the car. Yeah. And I was going around to every house, turning on TVs, putting down fireworks. Wait, was the that you? The fireworks completely <laughs> ignored. Was that you at the beginning then, Blaine, that was like in the house with me that turned on the TV and just made all the noise in the world? Yeah, I turned on the TV right. You almost got me killed. <laughs> <laughs> because well, you drew Leo right to that house, house that I was hiding in for so long. And I was the one I that did, he saw I, on the second floor where he jumped up and almost killed me. Oh, I yeah, was I had there no with clue you. that anyone oh. was in that house. Oh, then it was you then, Em. No, it wasn't you then, yeah. Blaine. It was M that kept on making all the fucking noise. And then as you went up the stairs, you stepped on the teddy bear. And I heard all kinds yeah, of noise that sounded like pots bear, okay. and pans smashing together. I took all the necessary precautions. I was avoiding teddy bears. I, did, I was avoiding drawers. I opened a few drawers in the beginning trying to find the keys. I got into I the house and then I opened two drawers in both of them. I found car Who put down the bed in the fucking doorway? That was M. <laughs> that was in the house that she almost got me killed in. <laughs> you know like, what I want to try in there? I went completely silent once I hit past the 10-15 minute mark, and I just made no noise. Yeah, you were very talkative yeah, no. earlier on when you were like... You went into that house twice. Once when I was the only person in there, and you were like, Who's the bitch you turned on the TV? I was upstairs yeah, was in a me. closet, fucking cowering. While you were downstairs <laughs> looking around, Leo. <laughs> 
Also, one of the times the that you, Leo, you went uh, Marco Polo and then said Marco, then I said Polo, I, and I you was didn't even realize so it. When he said Marco, I was so tempted to say polar bitch. Oh, wait, all three of us were at, were with him when he said Marco? Oh, he yeah. did it multiple times. Well, it was all around that house, I'm pretty sure. Because I fucking oh, I took was off. I by the barn when he did it, I think. I was by the barn, too. I was kind of close was to the barn. Weird. I was, like, across the street from the barn. But <laughs> so, I Leo, how was your experience? Polo, and he didn't realize. I'm not gonna lie... One, I barely heard you, so there were actually moments where I was just standing there and I heard not like nothing was popping up <laughs> like well nice. Yeah, because we had your detection as low as possible. Yeah. I'm not gonna admit, Bush the talk is OP. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. Bush the talk yeah. actually makes killing you guys almost impossible. Yep. And the thing is with me, I kinda need push the talk on because I both uh because, like, it's useful for, like, it's good to have it off for one of those times where you get scared shitless. Or something like that, like, when you're right next to him and he doesn't realize it. But for me, I talk to my video a lot. And there's a bunch of background noise of people fucking moving furniture upstairs all the goddamn time. So I can't really effectively have it <laughs> off. And then here I almost huh. got killed because my fucking rabbit threw her food dish. <laughs> oh, that's what it was? I thought it was something in-game. I didn't realize that was actually from your mic. Oh my god. Also, when I said Marco... Me killed multiple times. When I was walking around saying Marco, I heard no one respond. I was like, okay, well, my game's failing on me. Yeah, we were all tryharding pretty hard that game. Um... It's not that no one wanted to respond, it's just that we were trying to survive. Yeah, we were tryharding. <laughs> yeah, you made it that, sure, that very was... sure, because the only times it really I got notified was the very rare occasion of something gone bing, or you being a spastic and turning something on. <laughs> I, also I can't tell you right. how many times you were literally touching me without realizing it. Yeah, you remember when you thing. came into the same. barn... And you kind of ran into a fence next to a bunch of leaves. Yeah. I was literally next to those leaves. I was literally touching those leaves. There's one time I ran into a fence next to a path, and I was right behind the fence. Oh, this game is this game is surprisingly a high amount of fun, but they definitely need to add <laughs> more like randomize the map a little bit better. Yeah, they should have multiple maps. Yeah, they should. Though with like, I would love to be able to like with more players in multiple rakes. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. The only issue is like the blindness is so bad. I can turn it up if you want. (laughs) It's just like the moment I E ends. It's just straight up. Okay, now like I have to be three inches away from the wall to know I'm at a wall. Yeah, your your blindness yeah. was still default blindness, but I could turn it up or down to make you see more or less. Like, there's an option for you to see completely nothing, I think. That would be, oh my god. I that, think that would so. be a challenge in a half for Bailey. That would be a challenge, but that would also mean I'll have to ha- have the ability to be able to hear everything. Otherwise oh yeah, I'd turn your sound way up. Yeah, but the problem with that is you'll have to hear the full capacity of the jump scare and the lightning. I mean, that's... If you go make me completely blind, and then you just leave my sound detection at default, you guys would be able to run around like nothing, and I wouldn't be even able to find you. I wouldn't even be, you know... I wouldn't even know if I'm away from a wall. I'd probably be confused <laughs> walking to a wall. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. There were so many it. Oh. times where I'd activate the sprint ability and instantly bang, there's a wall. It's like, Jesus Christ, okay, I didn't know the bomb was there. Yeah, I think there's been a couple times. You, you actually mentioned you keep accidentally running into the barn. <laughs> I was yeah, upstairs I in the barn. I was like, Jesus Christ, why is the barn always there? <laughs> I was upstairs in the <laughs> barn, weird. literally right above you, fucking shitting my pants. 
Yeah, also one of the times that you almost caught me and I was on top of the board and I could use. This is a lot more fun. There's actually a point where I was pulling you around for a couple seconds, M. Because I ran into you, and then I see you just go hobbly up, and then just start walking, and then sprint. I was like, I'm just going to follow where she goes. <laughs> this game's a lot more fun if you're in the chat stopped. than it would have been otherwise. I was like, hmm. I feel it's like this would fun be... with someone who actually wants to play Rake. Yeah, because I think all of us hate how blind you are as Rake. Yeah. But Bailey's somehow makes it work. Yeah, it was actually, like, mentioned during the game that I was too used to, like, you being the break at Blaine. Oh, shit. I'm mute. <laughs> yeah, the lobby died. But I was mentioning earlier, like, how I was used to, like, Blaine being the rake, so I was like, oh, shit, I have to get into the mindset of someone actually knowing what they're doing as the rake. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, if I was any less blind, I'd probably almost be impossible to beat. You would have killed me at least twice. If you didn't yeah. have the blindness. Maybe next time we play, we should actually turn down the brightness and see, or turn down the blindness and see what happens. Hmm. I mean, he would pretty much be able to see clearly. No, you turn in the blindness, I'll still be blind. It just depends on how. There's uh, three different be. stages. There's low, medium, and high. Medium is default, so I'd assume low wouldn't make you see clearly, but it would see make you see better. And then high, everything would just be fuzz. Like, you'd actually yeah. have to concentrate, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see squat. Yeah, I would imagine that. Another thing was, there was, I think, four occasions where I'd run, and there was just completely black. I was like, oh shit, I can't even see where the fuck I am. I don't know if yeah, anyone that's heard me. When people are using and their empty flashlights, field, it's and there was no light. Like, I remember early game, like, when I was Rake, I got it pretty well off because M would use her flashlight the entire fucking game. So she was really easy to find. I actually didn't <laughs> use it a lot, that's the thing. Oh, I found you a bunch because of the flashlight. Y'all you had your flashlights off, didn't make a single fucking noise. I never and I was use like... my flashlight, I never have to. No, I, I, every now and then, just to say if I just realized that I also have a little bit of an edge because like I left my game brightness at default because I know turning it up would give me an edge but my computer brightness is always generally high so I think that ended up giving me a little bit more of an edge well uh fuck cause I put the game brightness up to max and I still can't see shit yeah I had my uh, like monitor my... brightness really high compared to normal because that's just what I'm used to uh, that's how we get blind. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode of In Silence. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel, such as the rest of my In Silence content. I've done two videos on it, so if you guys want to go check those out, you guys can. We're with the same crew, so you guys want to see more of them, you can go do those. Uh, you guys can also check out their links down in the description. Leo's Twitch, Discord, and YouTube links are down there, as long as uh, as well as M's Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. So give them a follow, subscribe, and give their Discord to join. You guys can go to do that and see more of them. And feel free to check out my Discord, too. I got notifications there for whenever I upload or for whenever my friends upload or whenever a couple of my friends go live. You guys can go check those out. And that's pretty much it. Anyone got anything to say? Bye. Bye. See y'all. Bye.